Hey everybody, Sirius313 here, and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the little showcase of the Tahoe at the beginning of the video. But yes, that is the vehicle we are going to be doing. It is by uh, Gump, one of his best models, if you ask me. Love the livery, love everything about this. It's a little bit of a pain to install, though, as the people in the comments will tell you. One thing I love about it is there's lots of extras. There's uh, APR cameras, there's speaker boxes... Um, you will not get bored with this, this, uh, model. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead, download the file and we will go over to the copy folder where I already have it. I'm going to go ahead and copy it into the install folder and we'll just paste it in there and extract it really quickly. So lots of issues, um, that people have been having with installing this vehicle. One of them is that it rolls over. Uh, second is that the light bar doesn't light up. It has a shade of black over it. It's tinted. But I'm going to teach you how to install this uh, the right way, the quick way, and we're going to do two types of installs. We're going to do the first one, which is basic. That means we he made it to work with the police uh, slots. So we're going to be using police too. So I'm going to open up the vehicle file right here, and I'm going to go ahead and edit these to police too. So let's do that real quick. All right, now that we have these in police two, all we have to do is find the uh, path that it takes to get them there. So I made up my own little readme here. I would uh, prefer you go with mine. It is a lot better. Um, the one that he has, it didn't work for me in the patch days. And I'll show you why. So first thing we're going to do is go to the vehicles up uh, file and we'll find that right here. So we're going to go into update X64 DLC pack and find patch day 3NG because that's where police 2 is located. Now you can use this in any of the police slots. Um, I prefer to use police 2. So we're going to go to X64 levels GTA 5 vehicle dot RPF. Now, first thing we want to do is go ahead and put in police 2 up here so it searches it. Make sure we are in the mods folder. We do not want to mod outside the mods folder. It might take a second to download this just a little bit. So we're just waiting for this to copy over to the mods folder. Um, little thing real quick I am gonna do lighting with you guys I'm gonna show you how to change from red to blue blue it comes stock with the blue lights though but I'm a red and blue person always grew up with red and blue and that's I like the berries and cherries is what they call it blueberries oh my goodness cause this thing be any slower and I can't seem to move out of that window okay here we go finally alright so we're just gonna go grab police to right here name um for those of you that don't watch my videos i do recommend that you just highlight this right click and save content and export it into a folder if you've never watched my video before you'll see i have it here already i have all of them so then that's how you do that and then if you need them you just pop them right back into the original but we are going to go ahead and move these vehicle files over Now these are larger files, a six megabyte right here. We're gonna check the YFT. So we're just double clicking it. There it is, there's our 3D model of the Tahoe. So we can get out of there real quick. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the mods. I don't wanna be in the mods folder. So our next step is going to be um, changing the vehicle meta. So right now it thinks that it's a car still and that will cause it to roll. So we need to look for the vehicle meta and change the handling line. So we will find that in update, update.rpf, common data, and we should see levels here as we're following our little thing right here. GTA 5, and there's the vehicle meta right there. If you've never done one of these, I'm going to show you how to do it. If you have it compressed like I do, that means that you have a modded one already. So let's copy it to the mods folder. And we're waiting once again. So once this is done, copy into the mods folder. I'll show you how to do this. 
The main thing you want to do is in the install folder where you have this, you just want to grab this folder right here, this meta file, and move it over. It saves a copy, and then you're going to bring down one. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and replace that on my desktop. And this is the one that we are going to mod. So we got a copy right here just in case something goes wrong. Now, you want to find with Control F the Police 2 file, or whatever it is you're looking for, Police 1. So I'm going to find it, and I find the model right here. And we've got the handling line. That's what the README said to change. So we're going to go in and we're going to put uh, Gresley. That'll be the handling line that we get because we want a heavier vehicle for the um, for the Tahoe for an SUV. So we just save it, close that out, and then you would take this vehicles file right here and pop it back in. Now it has the modded vehicles file in it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. So that's it guys, that's for, if you're doing the basic, you're ready to go. Just go fire up the game and uh, load it up in whatever slot you have. But now for the hard one, now for the, for those that are doing the sheriff model. So same thing, we are going to first go to the vehicle file, which is, just happens to be in the same place. So mods, uh, let's see here, we'll make sure we're in the mods folder, update, x64, turn off edit. DLC, patch day 3 and G, right where we want to be. DLC, X64, levels, GTA 5, vehicle RPF. So right here, we're just going to go once again and go to Sheriff 2. Now we got all of our Sheriff stuff. We are in the mods folder, so we're going to go ahead and edit. I do name because I'm going to highlight these. And I'm going to save content export because we want to do that into the file here because that gives us our backup. I'm not going to save that because it'll just overwrite. So to save some time, I did do the sheriff folder, I think right here. Yeah, I changed them already. So you just grab your sheriff ones, sheriff two, change it over, we can see. We'll check the YFT real quick. There we go. We can see the model is in game. So now it's time for the fun stuff. We're gonna work on the lights. So we know in our install folder we had the lighting folder. So go to YTD, this is the texture dictionary. Right click, edit, and now we are in the texture dictionary looking for those lighting setups right here. I want red and blue, and these are the two files. So I see the first ones right here. I just click it, replace, and find that folder. It'll basically ask you to find the folder, but that's why we use the install folder, lighting, red and blue. That's the path. Open, and now it's replaced. This vehicle will now have red and blue lights. So we continue looking. We're looking. Ah, and here is the other, the glass windows. If you want tinted ones, you can change that right there. But here's what we're looking for, the wheeling. And we'll just go ahead and replace this with this. And that gives us the red. Just like that, guys. Hit save. And we change the lighting. And it works the same way with the textures, the skins, whatever you want to call them. All right, we are good to go right there. So now what we need to do is put the car variation file in here. And you're going to say, hey, I don't have a car variation. That's right, you don't. So what you need to do is I have provided it for you. You need to go ahead. Let's see here. In the uh, media fire link down below in the description, I put the uh, meta files in there for you. So all you have to do is go in there and grab those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and extract those right here. Seven zip, extract here. So we're gonna go with the car variation first. All that is is scripting of the uh, vehicle. I'm gonna change this to two because I want a uh, different siren than what it has. So we'll save that. And now we just find the location of the car variation. It will be in the mods. Get rid of this real quick. Update. It'll be update uh, X64, DLC, patch day 3NG, DLC. And instead of doing X64, we're just going into common. And data. And you'll notice there's nothing there for it. That's okay. You just hit edit mode. Yes, we're already in the mods folder. Car variation in. There we go. Now we're going to get out of edit mode again, and we'll go back to mods.
And we're going to find the vehicle uh, meta. The one we just worked on. So we got it right here. So we'll just pop this up. Update. Uh, update RPF. Common. Data. Should be levels. GTA 5. And vehicle meta right there. Remember, we pulled this out and edited it. And we're going to go ahead and edit it again. Because you never want to take the meta that is included. Because this is why. You have all the files of the vehicles in here. In here, we have just one. This is one vehicle, and it's Sheriff 2. So we'll hit Control A in the uh, vehicle meta that we're opening. Just copy it. So that's all I wanted to use that for. I'm not dragging and dropping. We're going to pop this down here on the desktop, and we'll open it with Notepad. And we just need to do the same thing, edit the handling line. Um, so we're looking for Sheriff 2. So we search for it. We find it. Now, once you find Sheriff 2, you want to stretch it down just a little bit. Text right here, just uh, grab everything from the first item, because there's always two items separating the lines of code. So just grab that, keep going down till you get to Speedo. There we go, right here, Speedo. And then we want to cut this out. The reason we're cutting that out is we're adding that vehicle meta for this one. So we're just going to go ahead, hit paste. And make sure everything is looking good. Sheriff 2 is back. Handling ID is FBI 2. We do not want that. We are going to go ahead and go with the Grizzly. Want a heavier vehicle out in the desert uh, off-road. So let's just hit save. So now what we got here is the vehicles has been fixed. So we'll just go ahead and pop this back over there. Help if we hit edit mode. And we'll pop that back in there. And let's see, we check our work here. We did the car variation, we did the vehicle meta, we changed the lights. Guys, I think that's going to do it. I will see you in game when we fire it up and I show you uh, these vehicles. Alright everybody, we are back. About to hit up the simple trainer. Going to bring up the first one, which is the SUV. There it is, in Sheriff 2 slot. That should be the red and blue lights. And we're going to go ahead and check out the police cruiser in the two slot. And that should be all blue. Yes. So very nice looking cars as you can see. Uh, we'll go ahead and do nighttime because I know I didn't showcase that. So we'll let you see what they look like at night all lit up. So one thing I definitely want to show you is the components. I usually like to show you guys that. So we're going to get in this vehicle. We'll turn it back to daytime. And we're going to take a look at the components that it offers. And we'll see if we can sh shut off the lights. Uh, let's see here. I want to go to vehicle options and go down here. So if you want the black one, or you can change the color, which is really cool. I like having the blue one as well, like I had in my showcase. But that'll be right there. Um, just go to Vehicle Components menu. And you should be able to see we have the wraparound ram bar right here. The first thing is the, uh, what is that? Something inside. We got a dash cam. We got the spotlight. Four is going to be your uh, little antennas up here. If you look closely, you can see it flickering. Five is some more antennas. Six, uh, we have the ALPR camera on the right side, and seven, we could take away the ALPR cameras over here. So if you want, you can do this. Sorry guys, this is not a slick top. He does have an actual version that is. But guys, that is the Tahoe by Gump, the crime suppression unit. Like I said, this is definitely going to be in two slots in my game. I'm going to have it in the city, uh, and I'm going to have it uh, in Blaine County where it belongs. But until next time, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, comment the hell out of this video. Um, I'm, I am taking requests, so if there's something that you want to see, let me know. And until next time, Sirius 313, and I'm out.